Okay, so here's a video about the VM2 filter from Plant Drive. This is for heating vegetable oil. It's a coolant heated filter. There are four coolant ports. You use two and, and plug the other two. And the point of this is that you can use any two. They're cross-connected internally, so this allows for ease of mounting. The VM2 is mounted with the filter element on top, and we also include a neoprene filter cover that slides over the filter element. We have two filter elements available. The RF900D is a finer filter, a little bit smaller. It's a water blocking type. The uh, Donaldson is the other one we use, P55001. Uh, that's a 10 micron absolute. Uh, this is a roughly, roughly the same, a uh, little bit finer. These don't last quite as long, a little bit finer filtration. Uh, the 10 micron absolute is really a uh, really good filter for almost any application as well. Um, the reason that we use uh, the um, Donaldson, they have a drain port on top, and that's obviously not a drain port, it's a water separator type filter, it's normally mounted down, but when it's mounted up, you can remove this drain port and use this to prime the uh, filter, which sometimes make the priming a little bit easier. Um, some people do like the RF900D for the finer filtration. If you are uh, draining these or, or priming, uh, this does work as well, although you might have to crank the engine a little bit more. Uh, maybe not. Well, it, it does prime up quite easily, but maybe not quite as easily as having a port and being able to put some oil in there. It's surprising how well this does prime, though, after a filter change. Um, as far as the fittings, we supply all the fittings and plugs. Uh, there are three ports on the VM2. One is marked T for temperature, and that's in the coolant stream, so you can have a coolant temperature sensor. That's a 1 8 NPT thread. Uh, we have uh, also a vacuum and a pressure port, V and P. Uh, we supply plugs for these if you're not going to use them, but if you do want to have a pressure vacuum gauge, depending on your application, We've got provision for that right within the uh, filter itself, so you can thread a fitting in there and have a vacuum gauge if it's a vacuum side pressure gauge if it's a pressure side application. Uh, the drain valve at the bottom is supplied, and that's a half inch drain, nice large drain. There's a sedimenter base in this filter, which means the oil enters uh, the, the VM2 and then has a chance to uh, separate out any larger sediment or any free water uh, before the oil stream then goes from there up into the filter element, is filtered and out the out port and on its way to the engine. All, as I say, all the, all the uh, 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 fittings and plugs are supplied. We normally don't include a half inch fitting because most of the applications are 3 eighths, but if you do want half inch, just let us know and we can provide a half inch fitting. And we often do this uh, for the, uh, from the tank to the filter on high flow applications. Um, where people want to run a half-inch fuel line at, from, at least until the oil gets well heated. It's also used in our West Coast kits where you want to run a half-inch line from an unheated vegetable oil tank to, uh, to the filter. And from there the, the oil is well heated so you can reduce then down to three-eighths all the way up to the engine bay to the uh, injection pump. Uh, I think that's pretty well that. We, you do want to seal some of the fittings on, uh, on the VM2, not all of them. The Overing Boss fittings, ORB fittings, uh, are very convenient and do not require sealing. And when you're working with elbows, you can just bring them to, thread them in a ways and get them to the exact angle you want and then tighten up the jam nut. You don't have to decide, you know, am I going to go one more turn on the threads or am I going to leave it a little bit loose and rely on the thread sealant, maybe have an air leak. So ORB fittings are, are really handy for this. Now there, there are a few fittings that do need to be sealed. If you're using the port plugs, you should use a thread sealant. Okay, Permatex, Permatex white in the can has a little brush in there and that's what we recommend. And uh, you would use the Permatex white also on your bottom drain. You want to make sure that, that that is well sealed also. So these NPT uh, pipe thread fittings, you do want lots of that Permatex white uh, thread sealant on there. The uh, dimensions is, uh, of the filter is about four by four by four inches, and so it works uh, very tight engine bays. Uh, we mount them routinely in Volkswagen TDIs on the battery tray. Very often we'll drill out the fender, uh, just mount them with some silicone on the bottom and thread the, thread the drain plug in from the bottom. Uh, on, from the underside, 
after drilling the hole out with a hole saw and that provides the mounting, that's all that's needed. Uh, done that on uh, Dodge Cummins, we've done it on Mercedes, uh, TDIs on the battery trays. Um, uh, quite often that's a really easy way to mount this filter. And because of its small size and the top mount, uh, it works in engine bays and areas where you ordinarily might have a lot of trouble mounting a filter or changing a filter element after you've got the filter mounted in a particular location. That's it, uh, VM2 from Plant Drive.